waiting for. This could be the end of the championship for somebody, most likely the end of the championship for either Jack Beckman or Cruz Pedregon. They are second and third in the points. Jack is second, 52 points or three rounds behind Tim Wilkerson, the points leader. And Cruz, 68 points out of first. So both within striking distance, but here they have to face one another in first round. that great side by side here's the Lucas oil ladder as we look at it till Tim Wilkerson 5 and 0 oh this season racing Mike Nath he'll come up against him shortly we look at the other side of the bladder the matchups there obviously the big one Cruz Pedregon and Jack back with Cruz having late choice Mike just talked with Ron Tobler Cruz Pedregon's crew chief very pleased with the car says it's been very consistent they're got a tune up in it to run an 07 or an 08 but he says both cars are capable of running that so it's probably going to come down to the driver and Ron Tobler says he has all the confidence in the world in Cruz Pedregon remember Jack Beckman's team is going to get more aggressive and how they're going to do that there is a tuning term called rack factor it's, it, it speaks to the height of the piston for a particular run well when they went up in the fourth qualifying session and qualified with their 409 they made a mistake they had the wrong rack factor in there but based on the fact that the car still went 409 if they get the correct rack factor in which they do have today they say they can go even quicker that's how they're going to get more aggressive in this run well and that rack factor re starts, uh, refers to the compression high so obviously if they had the wrong rack factor that means it was probably Probably too low. That's why I ran the 409, so they probably got it up just a little bit more. As Dave alluded to earlier, three thousandths of it uh, on the compression makes a big difference on these cars. Both of these cars were very consistent in qualifying. They all, they both went down the racetrack on all four of their runs. Cruz was running slightly better, though. So I agree with 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 John. It's probably it could be definitely to get down to reaction time. Tim Wilkerson looks on. Eighth matchup this season. Oh, red light Bro, for Fast Jack. You cannot make a mistake. They all said that, and there it is for Jack. He teaches drag racing. He's on his way to a championship, and he red lights. John Kernan, you saw him pull over Ron Tobler. And Ron, you told me before that that it may come down to the driver. Prophetic words. What do you think? Well, I mean, you know, well, I think we got a little lucky there. Something the car didn't perform up to its standard, but you'll take these things any way you can get them. I think it's about time that we had a little luck go our way for a change. Sometimes it's luck, sometimes it's being good, and right now it was a case of luck for Cruz Pedregon. Well, yeah, and the luck factor, though, always goes back to you make your own luck, and obviously the situation with all the pressure created the luck for Cruz Pedregon. You saw Jack Beckman, I mean, just pulled the trigger too early, didn't have the target in focus before he squeezed it, and as a result, he got the red light good news for that man right there because obviously he did not make the run that they really wanted to his worst run of the weekend but he still gets into the next round you know i was talking with jack beckman yesterday that's his second fall of the year and he did say to me he said you know you gotta really get up for this but you can't get too up because you can't make a mistake and there it is so Jack Beckman goes out in first round. Cruz Pedregon moves ahead. That'll certainly embellish his championship hopes. Let's go to Gary Gerald. Jack Beckman comes over, had words with a couple of the crew members. And Jack, is there any more deeper disappointment in drag racing than to experience what you've just experienced? Well, what hurts is letting the crew down. Uh, it was simply a driver's mistake. Uh, it, we've got no fog coatings on our visor. They last for six or eight runs. I didn't change visors here. It started fogging up in there, and I just made a mistake. I left before the tree came on. And to let the crew members and Valvoline and Mopar and MTS down, that's a bitter disappointment. Uh, it's over. They're not going to let us rerun it. We're going to have to pick up the pieces and go to Pomona and do our best to win that race, and the chips are going to fall where they may. But uh, I'm, I'm very sorry to the guys that are busting their butts to work on this car because that's not what you get paid to do as a driver. Thank you, Jack. Just some tiny thing makes all the difference in the world. 